Hey everyone, I'm here in Cumming, Georgia at the Cumming City Historic Cemetery and I'm here to check out the grave of two sisters who were the victims of a pretty horrific murder and that is the grave of Addie and Ella Bailey. Now Addie and Ella Bailey are from Forsyth County but Ella being the eldest, she was the first to get married and she married a man named Eugene Beck. Leading up to this, the sisters slowly grew apart just because of the distance and Addie eventually got engaged. Leading up to her wedding ceremony, she went to go stay with Ella for about a week. Um, once Ella reached Addie's house, she discovered that her sister had been covering up who her husband actually was uh, as a person and he was an impulsive alcoholic. Now during the night, Eugene Beck went into their rooms where they were sleeping and shot his wife in the head where she died instantly and then shot his sister-in-law Ella in the chest where she died a few days later. Addie and Ella's father Samuel Bailey was a well-known physician here in Cumming, Georgia and he received notification that his daughters were ill and he needed to go to Rabin at once. When Dr. Samuels reached Rabin, Georgia he did not realize that he'd be met with one of his daughters lifeless bodies being prepared for her funeral service and the other one clinging on for life. Eugene Beck turned himself in almost immediately after he committed the murders and he was sentenced to life in prison. Dr. Samuels eventually got his daughters back to Cumming, Georgia after Ella had passed where he placed them in the Cumming City Historic Cemetery together. So as we walk through the cemetery, I'm gonna find the grave of Addie and Ella Bailey and we're gonna read the inscription that's on the grave, the, the dates of their birth and death and take a look at Dr. Samuel's grave as well. This murder did occur in, I believe, 1884, so it's well over 100 years old. Uh, this murder also reached uh, national news for the time. Um, it was featured in, I, I believe, the New York Times um, and other well-known newspapers uh, of their time. So follow me and let's go find the grave of Addie and Ella Bailey. So this right here is going to be the view of where the grave is. You're going to see the main road right over here. And right back here is actually the Forsyth County uh, Jail. And right here, buried together, is Addie and Ella Bailey. Now, I don't believe there's uh, much of a date on this side. It says um, Addie and Ella were murdered in Clayton, Raven County, Georgia on October 8th, 1884 by Eugene Beck. And the other words on this uh, headstone is a little uh, difficult to read, but let's go look on the other side and there are uh, carvings right here as well um, but let's go to the other side and take a look it does look like this grave has been uh, tended to a little bit you do see the glue I, I assume that that's fallen off before and it does look like it's shifted to the side um, compared to some of the other graves of this age it's very well kept up and right here we see um, Ella Beck, who was married at the time when she passed, and they left her uh, legal name on here, 19 years old, and we do see Addie Bailey, 17 years old, and then right here on the carving. It's hard to make out uh, just because of the age and the font. And this 
is the grave of Addie and Ella Bailey. And you do see someone has paid a visit to them. And right here is the grave of Dr. Samuel Bailey, who was born in 1811, died in 1887. Uh, not too, too much longer after his daughters were murdered. And it does say on the side of his grave, which is very easy to read, it says, I am ready, let me go. And you almost kind of think that after the death of his daughters that he was not okay with being here anymore. He wanted to be back with his uh, daughters. And he was married. This, I believe, right here um, was his second wife. Um, I don't know if that was the mother of Addie and Ella. But yeah, you can see right here, this is the Cumming City Cemetery. And you're going to find their grave right here under this tree. Again, there's the jail. Now, I would have not realized that this grave was here had it not been for a blog post called Adventures in Cemetery Hoppin' by, um, I believe, someone named Tracy Rylands. Um, you can find a lot more information uh, on this story on that blog post, and you can also find a lot of information on their story uh, from findagrave.com. They have a pretty detailed description of the Bailey sisters. So. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. If there's any place you want to see me visit, leave a comment in the comment section. For now, thanks for watching everyone.